Greetings my loyal minions and welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing well and are having a wonderful week so far. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the notification bell. If you have any comments, questions or concerns please feel free to leave a comment under any of my videos or hit me up on any of my social media accounts. If you want to donate to my channel I do have a cash app, PayPal and Venmo. Links are in the description below. You also have the choice of super chatting me whenever I'm live or you can leave a super thanks under any of my videos or live streams. Just keep in mind you are under no obligation to donate to my channel, but any bit would be most appreciated. Anyways, without further ado, let's get to. So, grab onto your neck braces and make sure they are firmly in place, grab a stiff drink, some popcorn, take a seat and hang onto your butts because we are going to be in for some more major whiplash. Well, hello you guys and welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are all doing well and are having a wonderful holiday season so far. In today's video, I'm going to be reacting to Buzzball Taste Test, Come to the Mall with Me, and How I Feel About Amy and Tammy Slayton. So without further ado, let's get to folks. Okay, so we are currently at the mall. My mom um, is getting a Secret Santa gift and I'm looking for the new eyelash perfume because this is her third perfume and I have the first two, so I definitely need the third one. And I'm just now starting my vlog, so hi. I just remembered that I did not start it today, so um, yeah, I was just like super distracted all day, but hello, welcome to a new vlog. So I'm at me. Honestly, when I was at Walmart, I think it was last month? or early this month, they had one of the Billie Eilish perfumes. I couldn't afford the actual perfume perfume, but I got the body spray. I think it's the gold one, and it smells so freaking good. So I've actually smelled all of them, and I had the, I had the, the, the choice, like the, I've had the uh, opportunity to smell her new one, and it's, oh my god, all of her perfumes smell amazing. I can totally understand why Amber Lynn likes the Billie Eilish perfumes because they are really good. Like, seriously. Uh, I think the gold one is, like, my favorite one, and it's, like, 52. So for my birthday, my parents are like, yeah, well, well we can splurge and get you the, the gold Billie Eilish perfume. Because my mom's like because we're going to share it because <laughs> she likes the perfumes as well. Anyways. And they have like so much perfume, but yeah, it's no Billy. This is the one that is like my favorite and that I recently ran out of. It smells so good. So for my mom's secret Santa, she's getting this uh, men's cologne or perfume, whatever you want to call it. it actually smells really good. Not bad, not shabby. Hey guys, so I actually just got home. Um, I have some clothes in the wash. My dryer is still not fixed, so I have to go to a different apartment unit to use their dryer. It definitely sucks, but it is what it is. Um, so I went to a liquor store. I got me some buzz balls I've never tried before, so I think I'm going to drink those tonight. I'm I, I feel like Amberlynn is actively going down the road to, like, actually, the road of actually having an alcohol addiction. Like, seriously. Girl, you are over 500 pounds. You have no business drinking this much. Like, oh my God. I'm really trying to decide, do I want to live stream or do I just want to vlog or do I just want to do nothing? And then I also got my grandma a gift. Um, and then uh, Walmart. I went to Walmart and tonight for dinner, I'm actually having a rotisserie chicken. So I just got some lemon pepper flavored rotisserie chicken. I'm so excited. And I'm also going to have some throw, throw back to the rotisserie chicken mukbang <laughs> i swear to god you guys like this is inspiring me to like actually re-react to that like should i do that like do a throwback reaction video i think that would be fun after the holidays though because i'm super busy right now stovetop stuffing which you guys know i love so tonight's dinner is gonna slap rotisserie chicken so good 
<laughs> so calm. I'm not gonna lie. So rotisserie chicken is good. Okay, but um, I'm not out here gonna eat the whole chicken like she did, or d maybe we'll do again. 2024, it's gonna be your girl's year. Just watch. Okay, so I have my leftovers in the fridge. We're all good. Exactly. How is it gonna be your year? Like, are you gonna go back to uh, trying to lose weight? Like, what's in store for Amberlynn this coming year? I have my clothes out of the washer in that little, well, big bag. It's going to be heavy because it's kind of a large load. And all my clothes are wet from being on the washer, so it's going to be heavy. But I'm halfway through my first buzz ball. It's the sour apple chiller. And I've had this one before, so that's why I didn't do a taste test. But when I try one, then I have I actually saw that in those in Myers, and they're actually kind of expensive. Like for just that little bit of alcohol like i don't even know what's in a buzz ball but I, I was like passing through the alcohol section with my dad and i was like hey i'm like do you want to try a buzz ball and he's like what the hell is that I'm like it's something that amber lynn likes and he's like no <laughs> he um fyi my dad doesn't like amber lynn <laughs> for whatever reason <laughs> My mom's like, oh god, but my dad just, just vehemently does not like Amberlynn, and he definitely does not like Chantel. Had before. Taste test is coming, folks. I did it, folks. All my wet clothes were in this guy, and now they are spinning. Oh, the lighting looks crazy. Is that better? What is this obsession with her putting the phone in the freaking refrigerator? Like, oh god, stop. It's so cringy. Okay, I have my second one. The Lime Rita Chiller, which I've had before. So someone on actually Instagram told me, try the watermelon. So you have the watermelon and you're supposed to shake them. All right. It exploded all over me. Three? She's having three of these things? My God, girl, just stop. Mm, that smells really good. Wow. Oh my God. Watermelon Jolly Rancher. Oh, the, the dramatic stepping back. and like, Oh my God, you got Oh my God, you guys. Oh my God. Just stop. Just stop, Amber, with the dramatics here. Wait, this is so good. This tastes like juice. We did it. Three buzz balls deep, and I'm still able to do my chores. Okay, I heard you, ma'am. So now I'm just going to put all this in here, and then truck it along like Santa Claus over my back like so. Okay, so we are now drinking my Choco Chiller, which has always been my, my favorite. But Four. This is her fourth one. You know what though? Do I really have room to talk when I had alcohol <laughs> last night? I had a little bit of some port and had some brandy. So yeah. I need my hair up, so I'll be right back. Oh, I'm actually editing this vlog as I go. So everything you guys have already seen has already been edited by yours truly, Drunklin, because Soberlin doesn't want to deal with her. Like they don't 100% get along when it comes to editing, but like on a day-to-day -day basis, they love each other. But Soberlin does not like editing Drunklin, so. Yeah, no, I'm LOLing because I just realized I've been putting my buzzball trash in my fridge. I think with the probably because you're getting a little bit drunk. This you've had four of those things. Like, girl, you just need to stop. Like, oh my gosh. The first one, it was genuinely an accident, and then it just kind of became a thing. So I think the next one I'm gonna try, which is gonna be my fifth one, and possibly my last, strawberry Rita. Shaker. Shaker real good. Five. Five buzz balls. God dang, girl. Opener, and she squirts, and she gets my fingers wet. <laughs> All right, it smells good. Tastes even better. Oh my God, it tastes so good. Y'all, I have, oh my God, wait. They had a Christmas flavor one at my Myers. It was like a chocolate mint or something. I was like, maybe I should just try it. You know, whatever, but I was like, you know what? Then they had the Premier Protein um, chocolate mint protein shake and I was like I'd rather have this instead <laughs> Do I want more? Hold on. I just like stumbled on my words because I was thinking about two things at once I wanted to say I have Amazon packages that I need to go pick up then I remember that I have rotisserie chicken and it's been a couple hours since I last ate and I'm like is your girl kind of hungry again is she <laughs> is she oh my gosh do I want more chicken already? how much chicken have you eaten girl ready I should probably warm this up I don't usually eat cold chicken like this like what am I doing wrong well, what are we talking about? Cold chicken's actually really good. Have it on a sandwich, cheese, a little bit of mayo. In my case would be vegan mayo, but like, you know. Have you guys ever seen Jennifer's body that scene in the kitchen? 
with the fridge and the food and the meats. Oh yes, the iconic scene where she like vomits out like that black stuff. I love Megan Fox, by the way. I know some people have an opinion about bad opinion about her, but like I've always been a fan of her. I just think that she gets too much shit thrown her way because of her looks. You know. Now I don't think I want to eat. I just grossed myself out. Love that for me. I will say though that Jennifer's Body is actually one of my favorite movies. Like it's just so good. Like same Mean Girl. Like some of my favorite like throwback like tw I guess say teen like movies that I watched as a teenager. Um, mean Girls and then like I think it was like a two years after I graduated. Um, Jennifer's Body. Oh yeah, I love it. Because I was like Megan Fox, I was like, I used to actually have a girl crush on her. Um, I'm not gonna lie, and uh, I was like, oh my god, Megan Fox in a horror movie, like holy crap! It has no right, and it's so good, it's so iconic, it really is. Being that good. Hi, <laughs> I'm drinking kind of slow, so I'm about to fill the pet's water bowl. I took Twinkie for a walk just a little bit ago. I'm about to get the, I think it's pina colada. Buzz ball, which I've tried before, so I'm gonna do a taste test. And I'm probably gonna get like a snack moment because I did get creeped out by that rotisserie chicken, so I'm not gonna be eating that. But um, I don't really know what am I gonna have. That's the real question. You think I'd have like a lot of snacks because? <laughs> oh my god, I'm making fun of myself. <laughs> my double. She's high. She's got the hamburger eyes. She's drunk, and um, this vlog is ridiculous. It's like. She's not even trying at this point. You know, th this is worrying. She just admitted that she's been doing Delta 8 for years. And now she's high pretty much half the time she's vlogging now. And she's getting drunk. And so she's, li you know, she's living close to a woman who's, tr you know, has been living sober for, uh, for s several years now. And she's literally... Like a walking disaster. Like Amberlynn is a walking disaster right now. More than usual. Like I, I swear to God. If her mom relapses. It's going to be her fault. Like seriously Amber. Just stop. You think your mother. This is what your mom wants for you. To be high all the time. And drink buttloads of buzz balls. And get, get and getting drunk off those. God. They can't be that good are they? Sound off below if you actually had one. I've never had one myself. Um, um, just tell me, are these buzz ball things as good as Amberlynn claims they are? Triple chin, triple chin, who knows? Quadruple chin, like what? I don't know. What am I gonna have for a snack? Let's go find a snack. I don't know. Maybe a meal. <laughs> Not me eating a meal as a snack. Like haters, hey. My snack of choice, cinnamon toast crunch. So random fact that I told my mom. She, she didn't she's not even trying trying to lose weight or eat right. I mean, I'm not hating on Cinnamon Toast Crunch, but it's just like, this girl is just free-falling. Seriously. No? Which random- wait, hold on, let me start the story over. So, I got the Cinnamon Toast Crunch, and I was like, yeah, that's my, like, favorite cereal in the whole entire world. And my mom's like, oh my god, me too. And I'm like, no way, it's, like, totally illegal in other countries, so. Yep, that's my story time. Hello, hello. Okay, so it is the next day, and we are just- we're gonna act like last night didn't happen. I think I'm gonna take a longer break from drinking this time. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll drink on my birthday, but it's not gonna be anything. It's gonna be, like, just, like, low-key moment. But, I mean, last night was a good night. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I did stop vlogging, as you could see. Anyways, today is very much a let's deep clean type day. Cleaning for me is super therapeutic. I honestly love cleaning. I don't know what it is, but I just, I love it. I think it's because, like, 2019 era, like, I couldn't clean. Like, I couldn't even stand for, like, a minute without my freaking legs trembling. So it's like, I don't know. I think that I took things like that for granted. So now it's like, now that I can get up and clean and just make my apartment smell good, feel good, look good. Like, I just, I love it. I don't know. Okay, so I actually am going to a Christmas party tomorrow. So I'm trying to look at my clothing and I'm like, what do I wear? I have a feeling what I know I want to wear, but I'm going to go through these and I'm going to pick a few and then I'll show you guys, like, my ideas. I'm not gonna lie. I do. I do like the fact that she cleans. Or I don't know. Keeps. Let's say keeps her place clean. I'm. I'm not gonna lie. Like sh she keeps a, whether somebody else does it or it's her. She keeps a clean house. And hey, I'm not hating on that. So last time I wore this, it was a hit. I loved it, and everyone else seemed to really like it. And then we have this dress here, which is lacy and red. Or Okay, she fell off. Or we have this one. I don't know. And on the back of it, 
just like that. Pretty cute. I think what I'm probably going to do tomorrow is try it. It would look good uh, if you didn't wear it with those hideous black leggings and ballet flats. All three of these on and just like see which one I feel the best in. So come back for tomorrow's vlog or whenever I upload next. <laughs> which dress did I choose? Which one do you guys think I'm going to choose? Okay, guys. So literally just in this vlog, I said how I ran out of my favorite perfume. Which, hold on. Let's talk about that for a second. So I said this in my last vlog. I recently have ran out of like, I would say about five or six perfumes. Like all within like the span of just like a month. And I've gotten messages on Instagram because I do like these daily Q&As. So if you want to follow me on there, go there. My username is down in the description. But people are like, how did I, I don't, I, I've tried to like do a Q&A for you know, and ask her some questions, but she never answers. It's like, what's the point? She's only going to answer to people that who are just basically kissing her ass. So there's no point. Do you use four to five perfumes in just a month? Like, how is that possible? No, I ran out of that many because I had so many perfumes that I've had for years that just had like the tiniest bit left. And I was like, I need to stop like prolonging their demise because it's going to happen because like Gucci and then my Versace one, like I did not want those to go by. But, like I would leave like the smallest bit, but I was like, you know what? I'm just going to use them up this month, call it a day. And then if I like them so much, just buy more. So no, I didn't use five full perfumes in a month y'all be for real but look at what i got in the mail <laughs> oh my god my favorite perfume see i was just at macy's but i had ordered this on amazon before i went to macy's or else i would have gotten it at macy's but i got my versace oh my god i'm so excited dun, dun, dun. my baby is back so this is the old one it was just the tiniest little bit and that's what i meant when i said like i saved the smallest little bit on like five perfumes so anyways now we replace her oh my god isn't she gorgeous they're all the perfumes i own plus my cute little Nicki minaj down here so my hair's frizzy. It's currently air drying. It's like the top layer always dries first. And then the bottom layer takes literally forever. So you know those hair dryers? And I have two of them um, that have like a brush, like a, a brush, a round brush. She would do like it would do, if she were to put heat protectant on her hair and use a round brush for her hair, it would be so much better. Like seriously, mine, the ones I have like add volume and like a bounce to it. Like, seriously. And because I have a really good heat protectant, because my sisters, like, know, like, the best kind of, like, hair products, okay? They know where to get it, too, for, like, really cheap or, like, like a, a like a kind of dupe, whatever. Um, luckily, I have pretty healthy hair. And, you know, because I don't color it anymore, either. But, like, that, I think Amber Luton Lynn would, if she would do that with, use that kind of brush, like, hair dryer for her hair, it would look really good seriously it would her hair is very th is is it's long but it's not thick and i think it would add a lot of volume and make it look thicker oh um i wanted to instead of flat ironing it i think she should do that like seriously just like make a few things clear i do not smoke nicotine i actually have only smoked nicotine one time in my life it was when i was 14 i'm fixing to be 33 um a lot of people are confused when i said like i vape and stuff i strictly just vape thc products the girl delta 8 delta 9 delta 10 type situation and also in my last vlog like i was crying over a thousand pound sisters which i'm actually about to watch the next episode um it aired i think last night and smoking you've been smoking for years and now you're living close to your mom who is a former addict like i can't I, I just hope you're not I hope you're not lying when you say you don't do that shit around your your mom I forgot to watch it so I'm like oh my god I'm gonna watch that people were like oh my god Link they don't even like you I'm actually friends with them on Facebook and me and Amy have talked Amy actually made like a parody about me years ago she apologized to me personally for it um she's actually super freaking sweet I love them both I support them both and I love watching their journey I wish them nothing but happiness and love and health and honestly it's like even if they hated my guts I would still support them and think those things and be attached to who they are as people because I watch the show. Like, I'm not really that type of person that, like, holds grudges. Like, I've never been that person. But genuinely, I love them. I like Another bullshit lie. For a over a year, you held a grudge against Becky, a person who did nothing but take care of you. You've held grudges against multiple people. You still hold a grudge against Becky. Even though she really didn't speak out against you that much. She only did so because she was just sick and tired of being, you know, let's say demeaned by you, right? Becky is choosing not to 
dish the tea only because she's afraid of the retaliation that she'd get from you. Does that really speak of a person who doesn't hold grudges? Because if if you didn't really hold grudges, you wouldn't care that Becky would speak out against you and tell her side of the story. So, yeah, you're li I'm just giving an example. It's a perfect example, honestly. To counteract her lie about not holding grudges. them a lot and like there's no tea you only like you, you're only support like being nice and supportive towards amy and tammy is because they're famous now it's like yeah they're like they're like literally legit famous now so that's why you're you're nice to them because technically you're just a, a small like a let's just say a, a medium-sized youtuber and they're like celebrities so, you know, you know, like, you just want to get in on that. You're hoping that maybe, maybe you'll get some of that exposure. Anyways, I'm rambling. I actually am about to go to bed. If they weren't famous, you, you would still shade them and you wouldn't give a shit. That's not true. I'm going to take my melatonin, which then kicks in in about like 45 minutes. And then I sit there for like 15 minutes. So I probably won't be sleeping for like an hour and a half, maybe two hours. Is that girl math? So stop being, I'm sorry, but stop being a fake biatch. Okay, you're just trying. You like I said, you're but you're just buddying up to them, and shit because they're famous. That's it. Because <laughs> let's just say if they weren't and they still got the weight loss surgery, both of them, you would find a way to hate on them, just like Chantel. Because you're that kind. You're the you and Chantel are both the, that kind of bit biatch, basically. <laughs> A jealous biatch. Have you guys seen the stuff trending about girl math? That is literally me. But there's also Amberlynn math. Um, I'm like mathematician Lynn. That's actually a joke between me and my friends. One of my exes would say I'm literally a walking calculator. And it was a very nice compliment. Like, thank you, thank you. Anyway. Bullshit. Bullshit. Walking calculator, my ass. Oh, now she's a mathematician. Give me a break. Give me a break. This is like the same thing, you know, I was just literally reacted to Stala today, okay? And I think it was the second, like, garlic bread video that he did. He's all, like, basically, like, saying, oh, you know, I'm, I'm a really skilled musician and blah, blah, blah. He plays, you know, the, the uh, a electric piano with one hand. That's not a skill. Anybody can do that. Same thing with Amberlynn. Taking credit for shit that ain't true. First it was... First it was, you know, you know, let's just go, let's just go down the line. She's taking credit for knowing sign language when she really doesn't. Taking credit for a dance career that never existed. And now she's taking credit for allegedly being like a walking calculator. A mathematician Lynn, like, and being a writer. And then there's being a writer. Like you are, you are, you have so, such little skill and talent that you're just literally making shit up at this, at this point. Because I'm going to go back to the whole dancing thing. Okay. Because as a person who va who has actually been a dancer, okay, in, in in my past, I know what it takes. Okay, I I've been in the war that world, and let me tell you, there's no way, given the the, the this backstory of your childhood, that you would have been able to be a, an actual dancer. Dance costs money. A lot of money. And you have to be at a certain weight to be a dancer. See, when I was younger, I was thin. Okay. Very, I was a very active child. And that's what, you know, and, and my, you know, I, I ate a lot. Let's just say I ate a lot better. Okay. Than I do now. Well, I'm trying to eat better now, but it's like, you know what I mean? Like, 
it, uh, so it's like <sighs> sorry I'm trying to like trying to be careful with my words here because I don't want to come off as like being arrogant or anything like that that's not my intention but it's like I did I not I I did professional not for, I was like am, I was a ballerina okay I, I've done ballet I've done tap I've done like uh contemporary and I've done gymnastics okay each and every one of those things was hella expensive ballet being the most okay she said she was called fat amber because she was been born with obese pretty much all her life that's it's not possible for her to have been a dancer if she was that morbidly if she was morbidly obese there's just no way because to be a dancer no matter what like style of dance you're in you have to be at a certain weight because it's not only it, it's if you're working with a partner it's dangerous for them and like in ballet like you're you know i got to point like you can't be morbidly obese and be on point shoes there's just no way unless there's like a specially specially made shoe Like, seriously. Stop lying about these accomplishments, Amber, that you have not achieved. It's, it's honestly, it's like a pet peeve of mine. I'm sorry. I'm, and I, I, and if some people are like, oh, I don't know why you're getting so up in arms about this. It's just it's because I hate it when people do that. It's just, it's so obvious that you're lying. And it's like, just stop it. Stop. Because there are people out there who actually are, you know, have achieved those things. Are s smart and like, uh, you know, and are, you know, mathematicians and stuff like that. And it's like, you're, you know, stop taking credit for shit that you aren't, that you haven't done and that you aren't doing now. They, just stop it. Okay, just stop. Because just let me tell you, I I when I I take the whole dance thing, like a little personally, because oh, you know of all the hard work that I put into it when I was younger. The only reason why I had to quit is because of my back injury. I made it to point, and at that point, I had my trampoline trampoline injury that hurt my back. I was in dealing with back pain. And then my feet were trying to adjust to doing point. It was hell. I went through hell for being being in dance. Then we tried contemporary. I tried contemporary dance as well and stuff like that. My mom thought maybe a lesser ta something less taxing would be a lot better, and tap and stuff like that. You know, all of that hard work, you know, commitment. But you couldn't be morbidly obese. Even as a child. So it's like, just, it's just really annoying to me. Sally did the same thing. Oh, I'm this, I'm so talented. I have this and that. And it's just like, obviously you're not. You're just playing it up because you want to make yourself feel like be more important than you. Oh God, I'm, I'm saying this wrong. You want your, you want to feel like, feel more important. Okay. And play up play play up you know your your talents whatever and it's like it's embarrassing i feel embarrassed embarrassed for you amber and i feel embarrassed for salad because it's just like we it's obvious that you're not telling the truth it's just like what if somebody asks you to prove it you know like and salad has obviously showed his skills and it's not up to par to what like to to an actual musician Okay, and it's just like, what if somebody were to like literally ask you for proof that you were a dancer as a child, like ask your mom or something like that? I would love, seriously, I would love for somebody to ask Amber if they ever had the chance to ask Amberlyn's mom, like, hey, like, can you tell us about Amber's dance career as a child? 
because like I was like literally and like I said I'm not trying to come off as arrogant I'm not you know not trying to you know this and that I'm just you know sharing my story here okay I when I was in ballet I wasn't like an I was actually in a company okay like I'm not in the city that because I grew up in a small town it was like the the one of the major cities near my small town I was actually in a company and it was it was expensive Dan I mean dance school is so expensive like oh my gosh but like my parents were willing to do it because also I did I, I they had scholarship and programs and I think I got one of those whatever um at some point whatever and um but still it was expensive Like, that's, the fact is she grew up in, what I'm trying to say is she grew up in poverty, okay, and she was morbidly obese. There's just no way. It just doesn't, doesn't add up. And the fact that she also said mul on multiple occasions that she didn't, you know, she skipped school a lot. So how did you learn and become like a efficient in math or anything when you were skipping school? Make this make sense, Amber Lynn. Because it doesn't make sense to me. God forbid anyone ever asks somebody else other than you for proof of these claims that you're making. Because let me tell you, the feeling that you're going to have when, it, when the truth comes out it's not going to be pleasant. You're going to be so embarrassed. That's why it's just so much better to just tell the truth and be honest with your audience than put on airs like this. Rambling again. Sorry I went on that tangent, but I just, I can't help it. I'm going to go and I'm going to vlog again tomorrow for you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Love you. Okay, sorry. I should have waited till the end. Uh, so that's just a ridiculous video um all over the place no direction like amberlyn is like what is this okay i'm gonna have to look at this video actually let's look let, you know what i don't usually do this but let's look at this video because i saw this and i'm like okay i've got to see this this is amber um let's just exposing amberlyn's sock accounts by N O L Z Y. So shout out to the N O L Z Y for providing us with this little sh short video. Um, I will be sure to link the both videos, obviously, in in the description below. But I want to see this. Hold on. I just since it's so short, I'm gonna try it normal speed. I did that. I did that. Lou Ann Heck. I did that. Chastity. I did that. I did that. Okay, I'm gonna have to start it over because my uh browser kind of like malfunctioned. I apologize for that. All right, let's try this again. I did that. I did that. Chastity I did that. Bees. I did that. Blaringly obvious. My God. I did that. I did that. Hold on. Let me let me go back. I'm sorry. There's comments under each one. Be strong, girl. I'm with you. I did that. I did that. I'm excited for the Timu Hall. Good job on therapy and opening up. It can be uncomfy. Thanks for keeping it real. I guess I'm an am baby. So these are comments left under from the sock accounts. I did that. I did that. Sandra Lacu. I'm so happy for you. I'm glad the the therapy work and that you can feel better i know how difficult it is how is it difficult to face your problems this is obviously amber i did that i did that 
the BB horse. Okay, Timu. I like the quality if your item and I want to play us in order. She's obviously like dumbing down her her grammar to make it look like she's not writing these. I did that. I did that. <laughs> Azera Daniel, you got this, Amber. I'm proud of you <laughs> for reaching out for a dietitian. Exercising is great as well. You have this under control. Just up your limits every day and try your best to hit them. You'll get back down to 300 the 300 soon. This is old video, but this is a very interesting video. I did that. I did that. Wow. The fact that you have to make sock accounts to make po write positive comments is pretty sad. That is really sad. How old is this video? Five months ago. Okay, so it's not that old. Oh, what's, what's to say about that? Um... I mean, it's pathetic. I mean, I feel like, you know, some people have sock accounts. Maybe you have an extra account in case something happens, whatever. I think I have an extra account for, I think I made it for some, I think it was for like, oh, I can't remember. It was like for, I think to do YouTube TV, whatever. Um, but like, cause I didn't want it on my other on my main accounts, whatever, for, for for whatever reason, I don't know why, but, um, to make sock accounts to just, like, makers, I don't know, that that's, that's kind of demented, <laughs> like, in a way, <laughs> like, girl, if, if, if you have to make sock accounts to make, give yourself positive comments, then, um, you, you, yeah, you, you're not, that's, that's a you problem. Like, seriously, that should tell you the, the kind of audience that you have. That you're not, just how unlike, just how universally hated you are on this platform. But anyways, um, I'm gonna go because I have to clean and I've got to get some sleep. Well, more sleep. So, um. I hope you guys enjoyed this video for what it's worth, and I will see you guys in the next one. Toodaloo. Oh boy. Toodaloo, my loves. <laughs>